Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to explore the solution to a very simple yet tricky problem which many, many people got wrong. So, the obvious solution might just be, okay, we're getting the square root of the square of a number. So we cancel them out, we cancel them out, we're left with 3 minus 2 root 3 plus 3 plus 2 root 3. And then we see that, okay, 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3 is 0. So these cancel, we're left with 6, right? And this was the incorrect answer that many people put. But the correct way, the reason this is wrong is because the square root of a number cannot be negative. The square root of a number has to be positive. See, even though you might think that, oh, the solutions to the x squared plus 16, x squared equals 16, is x equals plus or minus 4, they're actually, the square root is still defined as a positive, of has to be positive, and it can never be negative. So the solutions would be x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16, where the square root of 16 is still positive, even though the solutions can be positive 4 or a negative 4. So be very careful of this here. And that means in this problem, we can't, the square root of a number can't be negative. But in this case, we can actually see that 3 minus 2 root 2, 3 minus 2 root 3 is actually less than 0. Because we can see that, we can see that, from here we can see that 2 root 3 is approximately equal to 2 times 1.7, which is 3.4. So 3 minus 3.4 will be less than 0, or negative, which is not good. So therefore, this is actually wrong. The square root of this term is not 3 minus 2 root 3, because we can't have, the square, the square root of the number can't be negative. So then what is the actual square root of this term? Well, the actual square root of this term will be just be equal to 2 root 3 minus 3. The reason is, is that 3 minus 2 root 3 squared, the square root of this, will be equal to the square root of 2 root 3 minus, or the, or the negative of, the negative, negative 1 squared times 3 minus 2 root 3 squared. Because negative 1 squared is just 1, so it won't really be changing anything which is now equal to the square root of negative 1 times 3 minus 2 root 3. And this is squared. And from here we can see that this is just going to be equal to the square root of 2 root 3 minus 3 squared. And from here we can actually cancel. From here we can actually cancel the square root and square sign. So from here we can actually see that this will be equal to 2 root 3 minus 3. And we are good here because 2 root 3 minus 3 is positive. So therefore, the square root is not going to be 3 minus 2 root 3, but 2 root 3 minus 3. Okay, so now what is our actual answer? Well, our actual answer is now not going to be 6. So it's now going to be 2 root 3. We can see that 3 will cancel, and the 2 root 3 will still be remaining. So now what it's left with, it's going to be equal to 4 root 3. And that is the solution for this problem. So even though it might seem like at first that, oh, we're just going to cancel square roots and squares and get 6, which is the trap answer. Really, it was a key matter of actually figuring out that this is a troll problem and the square root of numbers is not always going to be just going to be the square root of a square is not going to always be the number inside the square. Because the square roots have to always be defined as positive. So make sure to remember that for the future and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.